families. I'm Mrs. Murphy, principal of River Ridge Middle School, and I'm super excited to welcome you back to the 2021 school year. Although we know this year is going to have some challenges, we are prepared here at River Ridge to meet those challenges and to create an awesome learning environment with the help of our entire royal family. There's a couple things I want to talk to you about as we get started for the year about our expectations, our stay safe expectations. We are gonna have several different procedures around the campus to make sure we keep everything and everybody safe. And we wanna make sure and remind everybody to make sure you're always washing your hands and that you're hand sanitizing regularly, as well as you're keeping six feet social distance where possible, as well as if you cough or sneeze that you do so into your arm and you use a tissue. As well as we wanna make sure we avoid contact. So we need to keep our hands, our feet, and our objects to ourselves and maintain our social distance. Also avoid touching your face as well. And finally, make sure that if you feel sick or you have symptoms that you stay home. We also will be requiring masks this year, as well as again, making sure that we continue to keep safe here at River Ridge. We are looking forward to an awesome year this year because we are better together. Welcome to River Ridge Middle School and our Royal Castle expectations. This year, this video will help you to navigate the castle. As River Ridge Royal Knights, we share our nightly values of being respectful, responsible, and problem solvers. We also want to make sure that we stay safe, and that is by following our campus health and safety expectations. As families, you can help support these efforts by encouraging your child to make sure they wear their mask, wash their hands, also screen your child every day with the student screener that's available on our website. Make sure that you're using your own supplies, that you bring your own electronic device if needed, and that you provide your own personal hand sanitizer, a reusable water bottle, and that make sure that you wash your mask and your clothing, backpack, and lunch boxes regularly. It's very important that we work together in order to make sure we have a safe learning environment at River Ridge. Arrival will be a little bit different than in the past this year. Always make sure that you're following the expectations for the bus and the bus loop by being respectful of the driver and the aide's directions, respecting property, yours and others, make sure we have quiet voices and appropriate language, and always be kind and courteous. Please be responsible and stay in your seat and keep the bus clean. Do not eat or drink on the bus and be a model student for others. If you have any issues whatsoever, make sure that you go to the nearest adult for assistance. With our new normal on the buses and at the bus loop, we're asking for all students to make sure they're wearing their masks on the bus as well as in the bus loop area. Students should sit with a consistent friend or a sibling and family member. When you come to campus from the bus loop, you will go straight through the middle school bus loop doors. If you would like breakfast, it is in the courtyard and then on to first period. If you're not buying breakfast, then go straight to class. There will be no congregating in the hallways or in the courtyard. For a car rider, walker, or bike rider, your expectations are to follow all school staff and avoid loitering in the area. Please make sure that you're respectful of everybody's property and that if you're a bike rider, you lock your bike up. Please make sure you're keeping the area clean and keeping your hands, feet, and objects to yourself. For our new normal, for our car riders, bike riders, and walkers, the campus will open at 7:10 a.m. You should patiently wait outside, making sure to maintain social distance from others while the gate opens, and also make sure to wear your masks. If you are a bike rider, the bike rack is now a middle school only bike rack. Make sure to lock up your bike. When the gates open, please make sure you go straight in to the breakfast area, pick up your breakfast, and then to class. If you're not buying breakfast, go straight on to your first period class. For our hallways and courtyards this year, there will be no congregating in either area. Make sure you're following the royal expectations by being on time to class, walking forward and paying attention, making sure that you walk quickly and quietly to class. If you need to leave class, that you ask for permission and you always have a hall pass. If you see trash, please make sure you place them in the garbage cans as well as use the water fountains appropriately. It is highly recommended that you bring your own water bottle this year. If you want to have fun, don't hurt someone. Keep your hands, feet, and objects to yourself. For our new normal and our royal expectations for hallways and courtyards, you make sure that you will not congregate in the hallways or our courtyards and go immediately to class. 
There are several directional patterns in the hallways, and we need to make sure that Royal Knights stay to the right. You'll wear your mask and maintain distance from your friends when walking in the hallways and waiting outside of classrooms. There will be sanitizer stations in all of the hallways as well as every single classroom. When using the restroom at River Ridge Middle School, make sure you're following the royal expectations of being respectful of others' privacy and making sure that you're respectful of property as well. Keep the walls, floors, ceilings, and sinks clean using a quiet voice. Make sure you always have a bathroom pass, and it's best to use the restrooms during passing or lunch. Make sure you go to the closest restroom to your classrooms, and always wash your hands. In our new normal for using the restrooms at River Ridge, make sure that you're not congregating in the restroom or outside of the restroom and you're using your social distance. Wear your mask while you're waiting for the restroom. Also make sure that you wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds after using the restroom. Sing the birthday song twice and that makes you 20 seconds. If the area runs short on supplies, use the QR codes in the restroom to notify custodial staff to make sure we always have supplies available for everybody. In our classrooms at River Ridge, we follow our royal expectations of following directions, respecting property, keeping hands and feet to ourselves, as well as making sure we're using appropriate voice and language, being kind and courteous always, on time and prepared and ready to learn, using technology appropriately and seeking the teacher assistance when needed. We always want to compromise with others and seek solutions to avoid confrontations. In order to maintain academic continuity in all of our learning opportunities this year, all students will have access to resources and coursework online through My Learning. It is highly recommended that assignments and assessments be uploaded through online. Staff will plan in two-week blocks with curriculum materials. Students will also be able to use their phone to take pictures of assignments and turn them in. It is highly recommended that students have their own planner in order to organize as well as to make sure that they reach out to their teachers for support with assignments as needed. It is highly recommended that students bring their own device. In our new normal, we have established some classroom procedures in order to maintain safety and cleanliness in the classroom. The first is when students arrive in the classroom, they will sanitize their hands. Then they will follow startup procedures in the classroom, which is going to their assigned seat following established traffic patterns in the classroom, making sure they keep their belongings with them at all times on the floor next to them, and bringing their own personal supplies, including hand sanitizer, calculators, water bottles, technology, and their classroom supplies. They'll be respectful and responsible in their classroom interactions by wearing a mask inside the classroom. Teachers will establish procedures for mask breaks outside in designated areas, as well as making sure that social distance is established where feasible. They will also follow their teacher's classroom procedures for dismissal, which is to clean and disinfect their area as well as any materials used for the lesson, including technology. All classrooms have classroom sanitation stations with tissues, germicide, hand sanitizer, microfiber towels, as well as other cleaning supplies that will be available to both staff and students. These supplies will be replenished when needed and we will have a heavy custodial presence making sure to clean our high-touch areas and classrooms. For students taking physical education and dance, the PE locker room and dance locker rooms will not be used for classes or dressing out this year. We highly encourage students to make sure that they wear athletic wear to school on activity days. Students are encouraged to bring unscented deodorant and personal hygiene products for their own use that can be kept in their backpacks. PE athletic wear and dance wear will be available for purchase in RICOR and students are encouraged to make sure they bring their own refillable water bottle. PE lockers will only be used for current athletes to store their athletic equipment during the school day. The Royal Realm Media Center has several expectations. It will not be opened in the morning this year, but will be open for lunch and for class use. Make sure you're following directions when you're in the media center, and if you have any questions, make sure you seek staff assistance. In our new norm, make sure you hand sanitize when you walk in and when you exit. There will be a traffic pattern path through the entrance doors and then out the exit door of the media center. Be respectful and responsible by wearing your mask and social distancing where feasible and making sure 
to disinfect any materials that you use. In our front office, student services, and clinic area this year, there will be no more than six people permitted in the front office lobby or student services area at once. We also have dots on the floor for people to wait. Visitors will not be permitted on campus for meetings at this time. Parent-teacher conferences will be done by Zoom, and meetings with school staff are by appointment only. Meetings can be scheduled on our website. At this time, the clinic cannot accept walk-ins except for scheduled medication and emergencies. Staff will call if there is a need for a student to access the clinic in order to manage the numbers of students in the area. Also, when entering any of these areas, students will sanitize their hands as well as exiting the area and being respectful and responsible by wearing their mask and also social distancing. Our royal expectations for the Great Hall, our cafeteria, and eating lunch is very important this year. We have established four different lunch times. On your schedules, you will see what lunch time you have. Before going to lunch, you always go to your nighttime class. Then your teacher will release you to go to lunch. When you have been released, you will bring your backpack with you and exit out the front of the building toward the cafeteria. Make sure that you take the high road in front of the administration building, keeping your hands, feet, and other objects to yourself, wearing your mask, and social distancing. You will wait in front of the doors of the cafeteria to enter. We have four doors to enter this year. Running can be fun, but you don't want to hurt someone. Royal Knights don't run. There are several different seating options this year in lunch. The first is the media center. This is for students who have bag lunches only, and they may head straight to the media center from class. There is limited capacity, and it is first come, first serve. Once that is filled, you will need to head to the cafeteria. We also have seating inside the cafeteria with no more than four students to a table. We also will have outside seating, in the courtyard, both the front and side courtyards, with no more than four students at each table. And finally, we have our classroom lunch bunches, which is teacher approved with a pass. Upon entering the cafeteria through the four front doors, use the hand sanitizer and then find your assigned seat. Students are to sit no more than four to a table in the same place every day. Students may select a table the first day and there will be a seating chart that is maintained. Place your backpack on the floor and keep your belongings to yourself. Make sure to wait respectfully until your table is called to enter the lunch lines. You'll wear your masks at lunch while not eating, but this will also provide you with a mask break as well. Students should social distance when possible in the lunch lines and at the tables. If you need something at lunch, raise your hand. You may not leave your seat unless you're identified by an adult. Our royal expectations continue by using good manners and being kind and respectful. Respect property, respect others' lunches, and make sure that we're using appropriate voice and language. Keep your food on your tray and dispose of your trash. Be a model student for others. How do you purchase lunch? Make sure you get your school meal account up and funded through My School Bucks Meal Pay Service at myschoolbucks.com you can view your meal history and set spending limits through this service. There is an also an option to pay directly to the cafeteria and to use contactless pay. There will be five to seven registers set up at each lunch, which will include the servings lines and the a la carte for regular meals only. There will also be vending machines outside of the cafeteria available for student use. There will be hand sanitizer at each of our serving lines as well as at the vending machines to make sure that students sanitize their hands upon receiving their items. Trash in the garbage! Garbage in the trash! Let's go throw it in there. Trash in the garbage! Garbage in the When leaving to go back to class from lunch, make sure that your table is clean in your surrounding areas, both the floor and your table. There will be trash cans strategically located within the four set of the table. Remain seated at the table until you are dismissed by an adult. You will exit out of the back three doors of the cafeteria. Make sure to have some hand sanitizer as you exit and return to class, taking the pathway behind the school and entering the classroom buildings through the back entrances. You will need to wear a mask and maintain your distance from your friends while walking back from lunch.
There will be plenty of adults to help you with walking back to class as you exit the cafeteria through the back. Make sure that you are practicing social distancing with your friends and you will enter through the back entrance to make sure that we maintain defined traffic patterns for safety. It is important that we follow our general dismissal rules which are new this year. All campus students will be dismissed by announcement, releasing the second floor first and then the first floor and should exit the buildings immediately. There will be a staggered dismissal so that students can distance themselves. We will have increased supervision to support our students with social distancing and not congregating. Students will exit the bus loop if they are a bus rider and the front of the building if they are a car, bike rider, or walker to assist with social distancing and congregating. Our campus will close at 2.30 p.m. Students who ride the bus should exit the building immediately and go out to the bus loop. They need to wear their face coverings and social distance when possible. The bus lineup will be located on the poles at the bus loop to confirm their bus location. Teachers will also have the information and provide it to them during seventh period. When they get on their bus, they need to make sure that they wear their mask and sit with the same people that they arrived with. If you are a car rider, bike rider, or walker, you will exit the building when your classroom is dismissed. You will report out to the front loop and you will make sure that you're waiting with social distance for either your bike to come from the bike rack or waiting for your ride to pick you up. Make sure to maintain your social distance with your mask and then immediately leave campus.